Hello guys, DJ Gez here and today I want to talk about how to DMX control your intelligent lights. Now to get started, all intelligent means in the realm of lighting is any light that can be controlled by a DMX controller. I have one here, this is the Alation DMX operator. And the way to think about it is for everything your light does, whether it be moving left to right, up and down, colors, gobos, etc there are each one of those characteristics is considered a channel to go by so for instance the middle one you can see it's a american dj spot 250 and his first channel which is my first here is going to be left and right which is called pan next one is up and down for tilt and then if we keep an eye on what he's doing the next one is color followed by gobos etc etc so we'll click that to turn it off. So now that we know that that light has six channels, we need to get that to work with this controller's ability of 192 channels. But to do that, it's kind of different because here you can see we have eight channels, one, two, three, four, five, six, et cetera, et cetera. So how do we get to 192? Well, if you're at fixture one, channel, folder A, let's say 1A. This means that right now, these channels are set up that this is one, two, three, four, all the way to eight. If we click this button here, puts us in folder B. Now we have nine, 10, 11, et cetera, to 16. Well, how do we get to 17? All you gotta do is you go to the fixtures, go to two, and then if I go to the folder here and go to A, 2A, now we're in 17, 18, 19, 20, etc. Go to page B, continues on, etc. So that's how, if you go through all these channels and all these fixtures, you'll be able to get to 192 channels. So now you're probably thinking, how do I pick the starting location for each one of my lights? Well, what you do is, right now this light, it's A1. This means that this light's first channel starts on channel one of my controller. If I click and go down, you can see that this has ability to be at 512 channels. We currently don't have that. We can only do 192. But let's say, okay, I want, like we were showing, I want this to be fixture two, let's say. But we know that fixture one, folder A takes us from one to eight. We go to fixture one, folder B, that takes us from, uh, what was it, nine to 16. And then if we go to 17, that will start us at fixture two A. So let's go to 17 and I click enter. There we go, boom. All right, now that I'm back at the controller, we can see, all right, if I go to one A, I move, nothing's happening, nothing at all. So now, if I go from fixture one to two, this first one on folder A should be the pan, which is the first channel of that light. So let's see, as I move up and down, and there we go, it's moving. We got tilt, we can turn it on, colors, and that's it. Before I continue, one thing I wanna to know too is this light again has a digital display. If you want to go into more of an old school light that uses dip switches, what you can do is you can look at this chart or go into the lights manual and you'll be able to see how different configurations of the little switches pick your starting location for each channel. Okay, so now you might be wondering, can I have the same light on the same channel and in my system? And the answer is yes, you absolutely can. There's nothing wrong with it at all. And to prove it, what I'm gonna do is I know that my DJ Scan 250 up top, it's the scan light. That one I have goes fixture three and I have it set that it go, is operated from five, six, seven, and eight. So if we wanna get our DJ spot to be at the same channel as this one, all we gotta do is, okay, we got channel, oh, fixture one again, has 16 channels within it. Channel two has another 16. So that takes us to 32 
channels we're at. So 33 would start at fixture 3, folder A. So it's 33, 34, 35, 36, 37. If we want to run these last four, we need the R light at 37. Okay, so now I just programmed this light for channel 37. So if I go to my controller, I click fixture three, and if I start at five, it should move both of them, which it does. So let's get some light going. You can see, as I move these around, I have two lights now that are both doing their own thing based on this controller. Now the other thing that people have asked me is, well, what about the way you connect your lights? Uh, right now, it starts here, and it's just daisy chain from white, white to next to next to next. It doesn't matter what order you put them in, because each light, you tell it what address to start on, so you can wire up your system no matter how you want. So now we're real quickly going to scenes. What scenes are is you make your lights do something that you want, and you program each light individually and they'll all stay frozen with whatever your last command was and then you tell it to save this as a scene. A scene is a single position where all the lights are doing one task. So right now you can see I got the tops are red and orange, I got the laser lights are all, both red, etc. If I go to my next scene, everything changes and you basically program this yourself. Now. As you can see, as I'm running through these, I'm in bank seven, and these are the individual scenes in bank seven. The way this program, this controller is set up, I can only have eight scenes per bank. So to get to more, all you gotta do is you move this up or down, and then as you click, this is a new set of scenes now. And this controller, if I just go up, wish it was a little faster. That was it. All right, so this allows for 30 banks. And what you can do that's kind of cool, and the way I have mine set up is, well, bank four, for instance, is just going to be my scanners and my DJ spot. Then I can move on to having the big wash, followed by lasers off to the side only now. Then a little bit of everything. And then my personal favorite is if I tell this to go into Spank 3, auto, and crank it up, we now everything's strobing. And that's one of my favorites. Causes a lot of people to get sick, but nonetheless. So how do you set up these things? All you gotta do, at least on this controller, and most controllers are set up the same way, is you hold program, and then you tell it, I'm gonna, actually pick a bank another scene so let's go to bank 30 so now all the lights are do doing whatever was last the last scene that they were told to do something I'm gonna move some lights and get them into position like this one for instance I'm gonna move this swap this spotlight down now it's on two three we talked about this guy before. I'm gonna bring him down and over on the ground. Right now I'm just moving moving these. Lasers, I believe, are nine and 10 for me. So if I move this up, there we go. Oh, one of the lasers apparently. I don't know what the other one is. Maybe eight, Let's see what that does. Yeah, basically you can just do a bunch of fiddling around and figure out you know, what you're trying to do. There we go, now we got both, both my lasers strobing. So let's say I like this scene. I want to stick with it. All I do is I say record, MIDI record, and let's make that scene one. Everything blinked. And now if I exit program mode, I hold program, it automatically puts it in black light. This means that no matter what I do, the lights aren't going to do anything. So to get out of that, all you do is you click black light, or blackout, I'm sorry, and we're back. So now to get back to that scene, I go to bank 30, scene one, boom, now we're right back at that scene we made. And that's basically it on how to get started DMX programming. All you gotta do again is, you know, pull out your manual, see what the individual channels of a light does, pick a starting point on your controller for those channels to start, and then just start, you know, pro programming your scenes and chases. Um, this video was intended to be a beginner's level 
um, video. If you guys want me to do something more advanced and get into things like chases or more advanced programming, let me know in the comment section. And also if you guys have any questions, I love answering anything that someone doesn't know and I love researching stuff if I don't know. So feel free again in the comment section to let me know of any questions or comments you guys have. All right, so thanks again. You guys keep mixing and have a good one. Peace out.